Oh, that's great. Hey! <laughs> yes, dude. Hey. Welcome to Baseball Will Break Your Heart. We Woo! are building a better bandwagon, which means that we're trying to find a team that isn't going to make us miserable this season because the Royals, uh, you know, yeah. uh, yeah. Look, they're bad. You got a lot of history a to draw on there yeah. that, you know, not a lot of confidence. I'm sorry. I love them. Listen- Listen, guys, we got Justin Mashinsky. We got <laughs> Dan Watson. We got Paul Atwood. And we got me. I mean, it's it's a fucking murderer's row in here right now. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good baseball reference. Yeah. Uh I don't even I didn't even know it was a baseball reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dan, was that the, the 27 or the 28 Yankees? I don't remember. <clears throat> ah man, now I, I think it was the 28 Yankees, but I'm gonna look it up. Fuck. I'm just yeah, that good. Way at to this. go, Joe. Yeah, Woo! you are you are just a prodigy. A podcasting prodigy. I'm good at this. I'm I'm the best at this. Uh yeah. So today's episode, <laughs> we're we are almost we're almost to the end. And it's something to be excited about. Uh, yeah. uh it was I think it was the 27 Yankees. Yeah, the 27 Yankees. But all the same guys were on the team the next year. So anyways, yeah, we're almost to the end of this uh, ridiculous Adventure. exercise that we're has the, changed first formats bracket anyway. several times. Yeah, we're to the end of round one. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. More shit to do. I'm yeah, still. So, did I even say who we're doing this week? Say no. it now. Yeah. You, okay. Yeah, the, no. the, 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 the Padres of San Diego and the Orioles of Baltimore. Woo. Two teams that exist. <laughs> <laughs> this matchup can be the daddy O matchup. The, 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 right. Yeah. I was, I'm glad All you right. said it. Cause I was so, like, Oh man, there's going to be like daddy O jokes. <laughs> just, because... just nothing but hep chatter. <laughs> bliss fleeing Durant. the dads the o's i like the o's i always have i think it's just maybe like the the orange i like they have the have... coolest the coolest little mascot he just the coolest little bird guy he's the so dumb cool. yeah the dumb bird guy he's great no he the rules bird guy man. yeah we love totally we love the little ass. bird would you say that's your leaning both of you uh as orioles no or padres no. no okay <laughs> not a chance i don't know i mean like yeah i'm i i am leaning towards baltimore uh that's the same <laughs> <laughs> I talked to my friend today. I was getting coffee with him and I told him about this and he was like, he said he was like, well, from a, he might, uh, he was just saying he would go with Orioles and he said he thinks they're a better team. But damn the oh. Padres. Really? Okay. Maybe All I right. got him. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe I, I mean, got him mixed up. Like, <laughs> maybe it did. Maybe I did. Like, Are they like objectively worse? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Well, the Orioles then I, it, then I just probably am surprisingly <laughs> the Orioles surprisingly overperformed last year. You know, they, they're, they're, they've they're, got some exciting young players. They did they did pretty good, but also they're not gonna do that good at all. <laughs> hey, young I mean, pl- young young players and their the payroll priests. their payroll is almost like it's almost half of what the Royals payroll is. It's yeah, it's not it's, good. It's, yeah, I think I think it's only it's like sixty really or bad. seventy million. It's not. And the, and the Padres are what third? I think. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ! They uh, have okay. Well, they have <laughs> yeah, it's like spending. a billion the dollars spending. committed to yeah, their yeah. infield or some shit. And 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 uh, and they just they just signed that extension for Machado, which is uh, incredible. I love Machado. Good deal. Yeah. I think it's smart. I think that's part of one of the. I think that's part of the winning strategy for the Braves is like these big early career extensions. And I think the, you know, it's, it's, it's a good deal. I'm happy for that Machado deal. How but, old is yeah, Machado? Like, well, I, uh, ooh, I don't know. Let's look. It's an 11 year contract. And I mean, he yeah. was playing for the Orioles 
back in 2014 when he was beefing with our guy. Uh, yeah, uh, he, is, he is 30 years old. Okay. Wow. So he's going to be yeah. like Pulhos like old. Pulhos, at, exactly. At the end of this contract. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, man. I mean, like, look, y- y- do you remember when he first signed with San Diego? It was a very soft deal, team friendly deal for Chief. Yeah, it was. And and I think someone asked him about it, and he said, "Look, markets change, you know." And he's right. So yeah, good. Well, no, him. I mean he's he's definitely proven to be invaluable to the franchise because no, I I do. I mean, we talked about this before. He's, he's the only leader. leadership on the team. Yeah, he absolutely. is the team leader. He yeah. he kept them together. He kept them together when even when they still had uh, Tatis uh, yeah. before before he you know before is, he got ringworm. Right. right. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Padres are so unbelievably stacked. Uh, oh, and then, you know, they they signed Darvish to another, like, ridiculously That's right. long and lucrative extension because Darvish is going to be in his 40s. So are they just expecting him to, like, become a knuckleballer at some point? I don't know. Because, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess he did. I guess he did have Tommy John. So he's got, you know, he's got a new elbow. Yeah, uh, well, news not how I would describe it. Um, no, but <laughs> but re, re reconstructed, remanufactured. He's the kind of yeah. guy though that he's the kind of guy though where I think his biggest issue is like a trying to find a team that will let him start, and then or b coming to grips with not getting to be a starter anymore. I mean, that's he's at that he had, point. He had we'll such see. a good we'll season see. last year that he's, um, he's a good pitcher. He's crafty. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe yeah. maybe San Diego will let him. Let him do what he wants to do, hopefully. I love Darvish. I mean, in terms of like teams that like if you want to watch a team that's gonna win, San Diego. Yeah. Uh if you wanna yeah. if you wanna watch a team that could have like some Cinderella moments, you know, could kind of spoil the the AL East. Could be. I mean, they weren't they weren't too far, they were only like three or four games out of a playoff spot at the end of last year. So but if they had if they had if they had played very deep, they would have eventually been absolutely crushed. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I we, mean, we all love I mean, to see, Cleveland, we all love Cleveland to see a little overperformed. Upset. Yeah. But Cleveland could have crushed them like oh, easily. Yeah. Yeah. It would have I been mean, would have been no contest. We all love to see a little upset a little upset, and that's what the whole wild card thing is designed to do. But a team like that, you know, that's it wasn't not, it wasn't gonna happen. That's not a but, championship team. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. We we can't talk about uniforms, but the the, the O's are some of my all time favorites. Orange and like and, good. and the Padres. Is crisp. I am wearing the wrong hat today, so I'm gonna go to break. I'm gonna come back with a special hat. But uh, yeah. Um. Also, I hate to be the one to bring this up, Dan. Um. Your background is not really reflecting the subject matter this week. <laughs> yeah, I realize you, you you guys launched right into the thing right before mm-hmm. my internet shit out. So like Got I just you. haven't had any time. Got you. <laughs> well, That's you know, okay. honestly, I, I'm over here. I'm over here like reading about like you know baseball, not finding images from <laughs> shut up. Films. No. <laughs> okay. 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 That's so, how I prep for the show. Is I you know read about baseball. I don't well, Dan, I think we need to have a, a talk about your priorities. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, the show sucks. <laughs> also, originally, this was an audio medium, but you right. know, it suddenly it, it, it becomes a different beast. It's fine. I'll play ball. We got to go to break <laughs> in four minutes anyway. Yeah. I, I'm well, not even I mean, host, and I'm, I'm, I'm throwing the break. I'm going to go to break Christ. right now because uh, I need Woo! to. Yeah. 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 Dan's so, hot, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You really pissed off Dan. Way to yeah, go. Yeah. He did. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna come back and uh, you know talk about some geography and some history and maybe some food. All right, bye. Definitely not talking about baseball. No. And we're back. <laughs> hey, we're back. Spicy boy. We're back. I got the proper hat on now. There we go. Dan, nice. you had some questions about my hat. Yes, I did. Why does it say Royals, but it's in the f- the text style and colorway of the Padres? It was the 2015 Home Run Derby at Petco Park. And so these were the hats that all the players wore during the Home Run Derby. And that's so that's f- a very odd choice, but that is dope that you picked one up. 
That's I have, cool. I, so. I picked up two. Nice. I've got, I've got one still in the box somewhere. Wow. <laughs> it could be yours, Dan. I don't know why, man. I just saw it. I was like, that is so fucking cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. So one to rock, one to stock, as they it's, say. It's uh, a, well, shit. I guess uh, <laughs> that's the team. The one team with the bird is not the one we're talking about, but I was trying to think of the, the bird that like fucks with other birds by laying eggs in their nest. Like, it's kind of the vibes I get from that hat. <laughs> the, are you saying this is a this is a uh, a logo cuckold? I mean, <laughs> do you do you think the San Diego chickens like a bull just fucking cucking everyone? Absolutely. No, the chicken's a chicken, Joe. Mm. <laughs> I'll bring oh, up. Oh, do, I'll, I'll put out oh, a lot I of forgot bones that animal. It. That animal isn't a different animal. Nice. <laughs> Uh this show's terrible. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the show's good. The show's or perhaps good. perhaps we can riff some more on uh uh like various wife swapping jokes. Is that where you'd like to go? <laughs> Did we do that last episode? I can't remember her name. She was the one that was mad that like the security like her husband tried to pick up some peanuts for the swinger orgy later. And uh, she kept calling him hubby. And then the security said, put down those peanuts. And then like flashed a flashlight in his eye and he had a minor seizure. Was that I, last week? I hope that that, 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 that is actually a, this, a real series of events that happened. I it really is. That was, a, that was a one star review. Good. I mean, it Perfect. was on the internet. I can, it happened. Hope it was so. on the internet. It happened. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, the San Diego Padres uh, used to be owned by uh, Ray Kroc. <laughs> uh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that wasn't for very long, though, was it? I've never you... been able. I've never been able to get into the Padres. Never. He, o- Not he even owned once. it. He owned it for ten years, seventy four until he died in eighty four. Yeah, and that and that's arguably when they had the most obnoxious you know welcome to mcdonald's uniforms i don't know why we're getting i don't know why we're getting so well we the royal we uh are getting so uppity about uh restaurant sponsorship we were begging them to make it pizza pizza park because pizza pizza (laughs) park (laughs) bucks dude okay one you're right you're you're right it does little caesars is the pizza of the people detroit is is the is is the people's city i'm I'm all for it. If and then the it, it, Tigers and everything like Little Caesars is already green. No, if we want to go ahead and make green, every, what the bu- fuck am I saying? Jesus. I don't orange. know, man. Orange. Orange. <laughs> orange. Orange and green are different. Two different colors. Oh, uh, they're, they're, they're the, the exact pledge. opposite on the on the on the fucking cover. Oh, you fucked up so hard. You I got did. the you got the wrong like the opposite color. God damn it, Paul. Oh, oh I'm gonna jump off a. Of- fucking bridge if uh <laughs> no but it, yeah if all the mlb teams decided to like adopt different uh fast food franchises as their like their field that'd be fine with me yeah pizza pizza park uh, <laughs> you, you, you can find something with that's uh, a whole, that's a whole bit that i want to that i want to do right now like who would the royals who, who would the royals be mm, mm, that's good that is uh, actually a good bit uh um, yeah like what? Fuck. What's the ideal shitty like fast food sponsorship for? I mean, for it should be team? in a tub. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man. it might be in a tub. It might be in a tub. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be so fucking sick to go to in a tub it, park. In a tub. I think it actually. Park. They just. I think call it, it actually the deserves. <laughs> they just call <laughs> it the tub. I think it deserves to be in a tub. I think yeah. that's I, it. Oh, I yeah. you know. Uh, the, new sta- be- the new downtown stadium better fucking be in a tub <laughs> in park. a tub park. Joe they fits right in in murderer's tub. row. <laughs> called a shot like Babe Ruth. <laughs> um, yeah. But it might be something like Freddy's or Sonic. I feel like could be contenders. Dude, let's be real. It's Kansas City. It's going to be Burger King. <laughs> no, that's Florida. That'd be one of the Florida ones. That's a Florida mm, chain. I don't think so. I think it's Burger King. It's in a you think it's gonna be? Why do you think it's gonna? Be I mean, Inatub's in a tub. In good. I was, I was, I was happy to go with Inatub. But Inatub is not a national. But if you want to be real about it, it's probably Hardee's. It might. Well, yeah. 
Well, does now see does Hardy's do they get to also have a Carl's Jr. team? <laughs> yeah, no, somebody, no, somebody they do else. not. <laughs> um, or maybe it's a go chicken go. Go chicken go and kick ass. Actually, <laughs> chicken go and in a tub um, are both on the same level as the fighting gizzards. The fighting gizzards. <laughs> oh man, that'd be cool. That'd be sweet. Yeah, but it'd be yeah. We Dan, you might have a point. We might get lumped in with just some kind of bottom of the barrel. Like I, hey, I like Burger King, but I don't want to be. I don't want to have Burger King Park. I don't like. Oh, you like King. that? You like that charbroil, Joe? I like that. I like the Whopper. I think the Whopper is a good like fucking that, scene. You yes. like that char bro? Whopper's decent. Yeah, yeah. I oh, like that. Man. I like that fake smoke dog. Burger King's <laughs> nasty, nasty. I'm a Whopper guy. I can get. I, I can nasty. get into a Whopper. Nasty. It is. It is nasty. I will not. It's like all it. the ingredients are ice cold except for like the lukewarm patty. I like that, that shit. Burger. Drives me nuts. I like that burger. And what about Five Guys? <laughs> I take I, Five Guys. I have almost the exact same issue with Five Guys. No, well, Washington D.C. gets Five Guys, so. <laughs> um, okay, they call so, the stadium the guys. <laughs> so the Padres, obviously McDonald's. Um, sure. What would what would Baltimore be? Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Too, easy. Too easy. Come on. I don't know. Um, yeah. Down at down at down at the Crab Shack. I I I have no other insights. This I've never yeah. been to Baltimore. Uh, I've, I've been to been, Baltimore. I, uh, yeah, I drove, I drove hey, another place Dan's been. Yeah. yeah. What as are your a, impressions as, of Baltimore, Daniel? As a child, so like I went to the museums mm-hmm. and stuff. It was it was nice. Yeah. Okay. Point. It was nice. I've been to San Diego. I've not been to Baltimore. Same. Oh, I haven't okay. been to San Diego. I would like to go to San Diego for sure. San Diego is nice. beautiful. It's yeah. great. I like San Diego. And then you cross the border over to TJ. Yeah. Get over to TJ. Get yourself some uh, spandex. Scabies. Scabies. You know, whatever <laughs> they got down there. Let's go. Let's um, go. What was I going to say? Okay. So in terms of parks, um, I mean, so there's Petco Park. Good name. <laughs> yeah, I mean of all of all the like corporate Yeah, branded... just like you know what? I can get I can get behind Pet. It's it's cute that, yeah. that you that you can you can adopt a cat <laughs> there. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, Can't really like come it. for Petco. Yeah. No. And then also I love that uh there's rooftop bars on all on like a lot of the the high rises around the stadium. Mm. So you can go up to that bar and just hang out and you know you're like a block and a half away but you can see the entire stadium it's pretty fucking cool my buddy sent me my buddy sent me a video of of him up there and i was like damn dude that's a fucking vibe so you know so outside of the stadium seems cool oh uh since we're on the topic we're camden the last one of the last parks we i guess we do have at least one more to go that i can think of that has a or two more to go since uh that aren't corporate named parks but Camden right. yeah. uh but but because of the I don't know why exactly but they they that lease is only has like one more year on it I think oh, people really? are re- people are really yeah. worried it's going to get moved and like Camden Yards it, it became it became a heritage park because a, a big problem with major league baseball is that they were playing in these shit ass multi-purpose stadiums and like jack murphy stadium in san diego was like one of the the most glaring examples of a coliseum style baseball field and you know you're a million miles away from the action uh and i mean they, they were just hulking concrete pieces of shit and apparently the scoreboard at um old padre at, at jack murphy stadium if you if you sat too close to it, it would burn you <laughs> because it was like it was like right behind the outfield bleachers. And apparently you could just feel the heat coming off of it. It was terrible. Jesus. Um, but then Camden Yards came along and, um, you know, they built it in like what, 90, 91. 
I don't actually not- know. It was early 90s and it was a game changer because it was the first park in a long time that had been built just for baseball. And, and it's not a really only nice that, park too. It's a great park. And not only that, I mean, it was part of like, you know, uh, um, kind of a, a gentrification, you know, revitalization project. Uh, and And so it's just, it was, more things change the more they stay the same. They want to do a live work <laughs> right. play situation. Yeah, uh, yeah. For before they renew the lease. Yeah. Okay. All right. But the cool thing about Camden Yards that's always been cool is that it was built on top of the bar that Babe Ruth's dad owned, and that's hmm. pretty cool. Because George Herman Ruth is from Baltimore. And that's that's it. <laughs> so Cam- Camden Yards uh, is 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 really the the only ballpark that I I feel is the only ballpark that's been built in my lifetime that is 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 a historical park could be a heritage park. If they I actually didn't realize that it was down. I actually didn't realize that it was built that recently. That's wild. Yeah, Camden Damn Yards. Me. Uh, early nineties, because I remember that's when things started turning around, uh, in terms of like stadium design and then the Ranger stadium that I really like, uh, that they moved out of for no good goddamn reason, uh, was built in 93. Um, so let's see. Yeah. 92 Camden Hmm. Yards, 92. So Really hoping they don't move out of Camden Yards. I think I think that would be I think that'd be a tragedy. But then wasn't aren't they having like ownership issues too, where somebody else took over and he had to promise the city that he wouldn't move the team? Uh no, not exactly. Well, I that might have been true earlier. The latest the latest from that is basically it's this uh wild uh family saga of just incredibly wealthy shitheads who hate each other and hate their family. Uh, They've sued each other. Uh, What happened was they recently just dismissed all lawsuits. There was a whole bundle of lawsuits between these two brothers, the scions of, uh, well, what uh, the Angelos. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Louis Angelos filed a lawsuit in June uh georgia angelos their mother filed her own suit accused lewis of schemes to steal his father's law firm like it's a it's it's an insane (laughs) stupid uh saga of like people with too much money and the the thing is is like it's i was reading more about it and it's kind of crazy because uh peter angelos their dad uh uh, is the billionaire that led the uh, the investment group or whatever that bought them in 93 uh he got his he built his legal empire taking on asbestos litigation and representing maryland against the tobacco industry so all right i guess sometimes you you gotta hand it to him okay Uh, (laughs) all right uh i don't know but i just think it's so wild like they they're suing each other that's this bitter acrimonious like family dispute and the team is just sort of like in limbo, they spend no money. They won't even renew their beautiful park that's incredible. Like it's, <sighs> it's. But you know, they they did just spend a lot of money moving the like left field corner in or out. No, yeah, pushing it back, pushing it back. I mean, because now Aaron that... Judge just kept right, dropping, <laughs> <laughs> just 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 depositing baseballs over yeah, the fence. Yeah, yeah. Over yeah. That, uh, <laughs> So. I, I mean, like, I, I, I guess if I had to predict, uh, I would say now that like, there's a little less confusion as to the the ownership. Like, at least there's no immediate plans to sell because of all of this family drama bullshit. Probably is going to settle down first, and they'll probably at least renew some kind of, I don't know, obviously scam real estate bullshit lease for the park but i i I don't know they're still not going to spend any money on the team until right there's new ownership that's That's the end of the story i mean that's another that's another really disappointing thing that that is is kind of i mean they haven't in my mind the orioles and i keep using the word heritage are a heritage team because i mean the the new york yankees were originally the baltimore orioles and then um you know they moved to new york and became the yankees uh and then the st louis uh, Browns were moved to Baltimore in the 1950s at some point. And then they were just dominant for years. Like they were, they were so good 
that they effectively killed the Washington Senators franchise uh, because nobody wanted to watch a shitty team. And we go over that in our next bloop single, which is coming out soon. DC you soon. later, a yeah. tale of Vic to Vickhurst and the troubled history of Washington, D.C.'s baseball teams. Uh, so, yeah, um, let's see. Uh, Frank Robinson uh, or no, Brooks Robinson. And uh, who was who was the pitcher? I'm drunk. Who was their great pitcher? Dan? No, don't look for me. I don't know the history <laughs> stuff, dude. That's all you, man. <laughs> it, it's it's right there. I don't know Brooks, any of these things. Brooks Nuts. played third base though, and he was he was incredible. And then um and then Earl Weaver, uh he was he was the he was the manager that made it fashionable to turn your hat around backwards so you could get like even more in the umpire's face. Uh, <laughs> and then Cal Ripken Jr. We setting- love that setting the unbreakable record yeah earl weaver and and billy martin always it was a pissing contest with them all the time so whenever the yankees played the orioles uh you know like they were just everybody was on the edge of their seat to figure out like which manager was going to out dickhead the other so i think earl was the one that uh did the kicking the dirt on the umpire's shoes thing uh, it may have, I mean, like there was, there was kind of like an arms race between those guys. Like who, it's incredible. Who could, like, I love it. Who could make the biggest show? That's my favorite. Um, that's my favorite, like performative gesture. It's like uh, biting your thumb in a Shakespeare play is right. kicking dirt <laughs> on the empire's <laughs> shoes. It's like, that's it all. You kicked dirt on my shoes. All. You're out of here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the the footage, just I love those guys. Like, why? Because that's that was that was kind of on the highlight reels when I was a kid, like falling in love with baseball. Is managers just going absolutely ballistic, kicking dirt, chest, dude? It's bumping, a lost art. It's a lost backwards, art. Backwards in the face, throwing it's absolutely dirt. Absolutely a lost them. art. It's yeah. absolutely a lost art. Uh, there, there's one guy. I, I don't know if he has a job right now. He bounced around a little bit, but I really liked Brad Osmus. I realize I'm a week late, but that guy could throw a fit with the umpires, <laughs> with the with the legends, dude. And I was sad to see that he didn't he didn't get to do more of it. He was great. One of the one of the Cardinals, I think the Cardinals manager got thrown out because of like some pre existing beef with an umpire. Perfect. Oh, it was. It was Jim Palmer. It was Jim yes. Palmer. Jim Palmer was was just the Orioles ace that led them to greatness. And uh yeah, great franchise, great history. Anyways. <laughs> real quick, I did Oh yeah, go on. I just want to jump real quick back to the uh the other side of the coin for billionaire owners cuz it's really interesting. There's a little bit of a family dynasty shit going on with the Padres too. Did you know that Seidler is the uh, the grandson of uh, Walter O'Malley, the guy that brought the Dodgers to the West Coast. See, I've been trying to figure out where the Padres get all their fucking money because they don't have a farm system. Okay, it's, like it's, the it's, only it's, it's literally like baseball dynasty money. He's he, he's the the uh, grandson of Walter O'Malley and the nephew of Peter O'Malley, who was the owner of the Dodgers, and then he's an NBA dickhead. Uh, that had a private equity firm like he he came up in money and then he went to go make more money and now he has a ton of money but the thing is is like (laughs) i I, I, i'm not i'm not trying to there's no such thing as like a white hat billionaire owner but this and steve cohen is as close as you're gonna get because like (laughs) he, he actually wants to spend money for like good players and like making a good product and they do i mean like i was saying tatis tatis is the only like Padres rookie that was like splash you know because yeah. like they they bought Machado they they bought Juan Soto they bought Darvish they bought Blake Snell they bought I mean just uh and then they they spent a shit ton of money on Eric Hosmer oh yeah that's the only thing um, that they've blanked on but they they clearly like they oh Xander Bogarts is another one. one that was like yeah. just an insane amount of money so like that's something about the Padres that irritates me is that uh you know they're they're just they're just buying big players. Uh the, I you know like But you Mets... you fell you fell in with the Mets though. Like I know, yeah, 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 yeah. I was about I was about to say <laughs> I was about to say uh you know and and Cohen is really like getting out of control. I mean, I love the Mets because they're like 
you know, the, the the Yankees like idiot no good brother that can't ever do anything right. What what do you but, mean like, getting out of control? Of <laughs> no, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're, oh, we're well, gonna have okay, a, we're gonna have okay. a severe derailment. Just the like, out, okay, you know. the out of controlness in this situation is that their luxury tax is more than the Pirates, Reds, Orioles, A's, and Royals entire payroll combined. That's not true. And also, how is that <laughs> also how is that a problem for the Mets? That's a problem for those other teams. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm just I'm just saying that's not my style. I like to root for the little guy. And like I, I thought when I ju- jumped on the the Mets bandwagon, you know, I didn't know much about Cohen. I was just like, you know what? The the Mets are the Yankees' idiot little brother. I like Pete Alonso. I like some of the players that they're picking up. They got Max Scherzer. I, I'm tuning but in. But you don't like them now that they're too. They're too. I, I can't too say. Spendy? I can't say that I don't like them. But I. I, I, I mean, get... Paul, I think you're forgetting cardinal rule number one is is <laughs> it's not your money. Like it's not I your know. money. I know. I know. But like I, I love I I love small market rowdy teams you know that 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 can that that can build a team out of nothing. Just because that... they're just because they're the top payroll doesn't mean they're not a small market team that's a little rowdy. <laughs> I mean like I mean yeah okay sure their their payroll is what uh three hundred uh three hundred thirty six million dollars uh that's fine they're still a small market team that gets a little <laughs> rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. No, I mean, I just, uh, it's the amount of money. I mean, you're right. It's not my money, but like the amount of money that's being spent is absolutely obscene. That's the best part about it. That's what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's a I, I, I understand. I understand the tendency to like root for <clears throat> underdogs, but you should like root for um, like a, like a functioning system for the sport and for the players, like not, not this like, like weird, like, uh, medieval ass, like, like noble bloodline drama bullshit that is what all the small market teams are like, yeah. I, 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 I want, I mean, I guess I am a little, says, yeah. I guess you know, I have a little Seidler. Horatio Al- Alger about it. Right. Like I want I want Seidler to go out there and 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 like an absolute dickhead say I kind of like spending money. You can't take it with you. You're right. <laughs> you suck. I hate your guts, but you're right and I want you to keep spending all of your money on Manny sure. Machado extensions and like, sure. you know, yeah. buying yeah. up you Darvish. Like, yeah, you're right. I would rather you spend your money on that than whatever other private equity freak shit you're going to get into. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you know, I guess it just comes down to my whole like, fuck the rich, but like everybody that. So it, take okay. their money. Yeah. <laughs> Give it well, to the players. Okay. The we're going to, we're going to continue to to derail this even further because everybody, and, and just, just give me some rope here so I can hang myself. Yeah. Like everybody is so pissed off about the pitch clock right now. And how like you know uh, you know you have you have thirty seconds to throw the ball, batter needs to be facing the pitcher with eight seconds left on the pitch clock, or it counts against the batter, or if the pitcher you know takes too long, it counts against the pitcher, and people are like, oh, it's America's pastime, it's their you know like it shouldn't be a clock, this is bullshit, they're ruining baseball, and it's like, look, okay, there's. Baseball is run by 30 billionaires that are selling a product. They don't fucking care what you think, okay? They just want to make money. Major League Baseball, Minor League Baseball, all the shit that's affiliated with that, it does they don't own the game. They don't own the game. So like you know, if if you got a problem with the pitch clock, go gather up all of your friends that you haven't alienated by being a fucking idiot and go out and play. Hey, fact, of the matter is, fact of the matter is score. fact of the matter is as much as I might like it to be true that it's the only sport without a clock it's had a clock ever since there were television commercial breaks like exactly. it's had a clock it's yeah. that's existed uh it's it's foolish to pretend that it hasn't uh and that's a good point and and like I think the big the biggest issue with the whole like pitch clock thing is that it's not clear how it's supposed to work everyone's not on the same page that's what it's for that's what spring training is for i don't really like i'm not i could see it going either way i don't i don't feel that strongly about it same with big bases who gives a shit i don't give a fuck man like your professional athletes like impress me 
Right. Right. <laughs> you know? yeah. like, the, like there 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 are some there are some pitchers that take a ridiculously long, comically mm-hmm. long amount like of time. Like Shoei Otani. It takes I him think yeah, no, I know fucking I, ever to set up. I think it's hilarious. I love it, but I understand that it's irritating to their paymasters, and that's just the way of the world. Yeah. Um, you know, like but then you got guys on the th- other th- side. There's like hitters, yeah, exactly. That, well, there's also hitters that that step out of the box and take too much time and like fuck them too. Like I get it. <laughs> I there it's gonna get ironed out. They're gonna figure it out. The players are gonna figure out a way that like at least generally works for them. Um, I, I think it'll probably wind up being mostly fine. Uh, also, I I was reading through some other stuff. I found out that the stupid Ghost Runner rule is coming back because the clubs mm-hmm. asked for it. I thought that was done, but the clubs asked for it back, so we get we get Ghost Runner again yeah. in ex- extra. I think only. I think pitch clock should be banned in the playoffs, like the Ghost Runner, because th- nothing would suck worse. Well, nothing would suck worse than watching Game Seven, bottom of the ninth, full count, batter doesn't step into the box on time, game over. I mean, yep. I think at the very least they're going to dramatically extend the times. It's the same thing they do with uh, like mound visits. They increase your mound visit allotment. By the way, another rule change that like mostly didn't really matter and people totally forgot even exists. But like, yeah, they they give you a lot more mound visits for postseason. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I don't know rules. Who fucking cares? It's a game. Every game has rules. Fucking deal yeah. with it. Like I do, child, I do your think your childhood has be... not been ruined. By a bunch the, of billionaires. The the anti shifting rules, I think, are going to be interesting. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm I'm, I'm all about getting rid of the shift. Yeah, same. So is Joey Gallo. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I think every left hander is is all about it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting week in baseball. Uh, you know, with all the pitch clock shit and um. I don't know. I'm excited about this season, but we should talk about food. <laughs> so we're going to come back and talk about food. Food. Joe, are you ready to talk about food? Yeah, I might. I might <laughs> actually. Uh, <laughs> I might heat some up. Eat while while we talk about it. Yes. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I might go 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 grab some mac and cheese. See I'm gonna. Can, uh, I'm gonna. Know. Do you want to be mac and cheese boys together? Hell yeah, bro. Okay, see you. Uh, see you soon. Okay, you soon. we'll be back. Burger time. <laughs> and we're back. Wow. Just slam a jam <laughs> some macaroni. Did ever? Did everybody get? Uh, did everybody get freshened up? What are we drinking? Uh, Dos Madera's uh, ten year on the rocks. Wonderful. Yeah. Justin. I'm drinking uh, Sierra Nevada, which is not a San Diego beer, but it's in a Ballast Point glass that I got in San Diego. Well, which is a San Diego beer. Was it in Ballast Green- Point barely qualifies as San Diego beer at this point. Well, it's yeah. owned by Constellation Brands. Uh, yeah, it, I, I was there before the... Dan, okay. can't you just, can't you just let people sold. enjoy things? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is like, it, I, like Sierra, years I like Sierra Nevada. Isn't Green yeah. Flash San Diego? Ca- yeah, Green Flash is yeah. San Diego. Also, no longer. Be. Also, I was, no about longer to, I was about to say, owned. unless Dan has some information on Green Flash too. Also, no longer independently owned. None of them are anymore. Most of them are yeah. owned by like Budweiser or yeah. Constellation or yeah. There, it's yeah. It, it, it all came apart pretty quickly. Under, uh, <laughs> Chris, cap- white wine spritzer. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's delicious. You're having a white wine spritzer? That's right. That's nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's right. Yeah, no, I made uh I made uh pina coladas in the blender down there. I threw some Grand Marnier in it. It's good. Cool. Slug slugged them. Slugged them. Slugged them. <laughs> slugged them. Cool. Let's talk food. Uh ba, 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 ba. where do we want to start, boys? Slam Cup. Diego. Slam Diego. You got it. Yeah, right. I mean, I've heard a lot about the the stadium fair at San Diego. You know, it's very like Southern Southern California, Baja fresh, avocado on everything kind of shit. Is ah. that a criticism? Is that meant to dissuade me? That sounds lovely. <laughs> it yeah, does. Yeah. It does. It does. It does. It does. You can get um, away with that kind of shit with also being trashy, and it goes over pretty well. 
<laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So there is that. I mean, right off the bat, we got tri-tip nachos. I okay. Love, I love me some tri-tip. Right. You know, that's that's in the wheelhouse of what we're looking for for some ballpark fare. Three points on that meat. I was looking at um, the Eater article, and it was all very f- floofy, bougie kind of shit. And uh, I was happy to see MLB has, you know, here's what we're talking about with the California. You I know, don't want to like, eat that. That looks like what I can get at a quick trip. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. I don't want that. It is I don't like, super California. I don't like just a fucking plain like sandwich on like white bread. No, come on. Yeah. yeah. Damn, no. dude. Absolutely not. I'd eat it. I would eat it. I'd eat I, it. I, but I don't go. I to eat a the ones from Quick Trip that too. Shit. Yeah. Well, I eat that's the ones the thing. at Quick Trip too. That's I, that's <laughs> what I'm saying is that you buy that at Quick Trip. You don't buy that for twenty dollars at a fucking baseball stadium. I don't know. I maybe it's not twenty dollars. If that if that if that Ooh. turkey sandwich was a. Uh, reasonably priced i would buy that at a ballpark that's that's no it's it it's definitely 16 or above for that thing i feel like <laughs> like but i mean how how much is a burger you know i mean like I'm it's just, the same it's just a burger it's just like worse for you and that makes it more, i mean maybe if it was like, a day it's game an, it's an indulgence yeah a day game i'm having a light lunch i just need something to soak up a beer i'm i might get a turkey sandwich i think y'all are just haters the turcado I love a turkey sandwich. <laughs> I love a turkey sandwich too. Come on, I, I mean that's the thing because I, I eat a turkey. Sa- I eat a turkey a sandwich part. almost every day for lunch. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to treat myself to exactly. a fucking turkey sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> turkey it sandwich. A- turkey sandwich is like utility food for me. It's like, damn, what do I got? <laughs> I got turkey and I got white bread. Let's slap them together. Does got that big tub of a uh, Thousand Island that uh, is appreciated. That's for sure. I yeah, don't but, know if it's Thousand Island. They say it's just secret sauce. I don't know if it's Yeah, Thousand but Island. if it's a California thing, it's probably some like riff on some in and out Thousand Islandy bullshit. Uh but sauce we'll see. is usually Thousand Island. <laughs> I bet it's just fancy sauce. I bet it's literally just mayo and ketchup. Right. It oh, fancy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it could be fancy sauce. But uh, you know, it's probably some kind of like, you know, I don't know, Southwest Chipotle. F- Fresca sauce. Who fucking knows? San Diego. We got a cheesesteak, though. I'd eat that, too. I'd eat that cheesesteak. Good-looking cheesesteak. Uh, and then you got... That yeah. That meat That meat doesn't look great. I don't know. Hold on. I need to see this cheesesteak. I got distracted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, this, we're going is, th- this is pretty humble photography, which I, I respect. I, I would yeah. say. Yeah. For sure. I respect. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Appreciated. Yeah. What happened they're not they're not hiding anything. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? I that's, that. Is, is that talking to you? Yeah. 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 Nothing nothing crazy. I'm not I'm not fucking salivating from it, but it's good. That bread needs uh to spend some time uh it needs to get buttered up and thrown on a flat top for sure. I agree. Though. Yeah, yeah. Crisp it up. Crisp it. Give me a little crunch. I need a lot of juice coming off of there. Like I need I need like a partially soggy bun. Yeah, I, need, I mean I need like whole- I need like at least forty percent penetration on that uh on that bottom on that bottom slice. Yeah. Man, if I had a nickel. <laughs> um, uh Hodad's bacon burger. I'm not really sure what's going on with the bacon there. It looks can, weird. Yeah. Can we talk about this fucking weird. weird burger? First of all, <laughs> first of all, shredded lettuce on the bottom. Not love it. Lo- not loving it. I'm a I'm a lettuce on the top kind of guy. Okay. Um. Uh. But I can forgive that. Also, get that tomato off there at this point. Let's let's. Also, I'll, that look that looks like a that looks like a super beefy cut of tomato that, right there. Like yeah, that's a beefy cut of tomato. A- absolutely, that is a dry that, patty. And that well, bacon... I, you're you're dancing around it, man. It's particle board. It looks like particle board. <laughs> it does. I would eat, it does. I, if you yeah. take if you if you take the particle board bacon off, I would eat the sandwich as is, just and, without that. Dude, and we the were bacon talking looks about... like a bacon patty. It looks it like looks hash like... browns. Yeah. 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 And then it also looks like like, like, from like IKEA, like it's bacon with a <laughs> diacritical mark. There's there's some there's some so you know we were talking about how humble the photography is. Like obviously whoever cooked this like fucking whacked it with their spatula because the cheese is all fucked up. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. It's got a little you know again 
the whole I, gash in that I'm, cheese. So I, I don't. I'm not care about afraid that. of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Afraid I'm not afraid of that, of that either. I, I'm. A, I appreciate that they're like, ah, it's good enough. Yeah, yeah. It's not, <laughs> technically, you could say it's not camera ready, but I think we all appreciate uh, the candidness of that. Yeah. There's that a being pretty, said, there's a pretty big, big pickle on the bottom right too. I like also, that big pickle. Also, multiple people, multiple people would have had to have said ah, that's good enough because, like, also they could have maybe just turned it around and you wouldn't. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> think about the other side looks. Right. I think, I, think what, I think that's what's. I think that's what's selling this burger is that it just looks like shit. Like what. What, yeah, what, what is going on with Here's this like shredded bacon weave? The bacon is weird. On. The bacon is weird. Is that? But yeah, it's a bacon cheeseburger. It is bacon. Yeah. God damn! And it's got ba- the bacon has cheese melted on it. I, yeah. I like that. I do like that, but it's a weird consistency. This might actually fucking slap. I don't they... know. It seems like a salt bomb. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, like I'm going to be able to yeah. like, feel my heart like <laughs> you know, like I will be able to hear it. Dude, okay, well, in then my get ears. Paul, then get a fucking turkey and avocado sandwich. <laughs> the turkado? Yeah, hey, I got I got hey. news for you, Joe. There's a lot of sodium in those uh turkey cold cuts. Yeah, okay. Man, well, yeah. I said, this <laughs> this looks like a sodium like fucking A bomb right here. Like mm. You know the the Turcado is just a bunker buster. It's it's no big deal. I think I would rather get the Turcado than I would get this. I think I would pick that. This is just whoa, bro! Yeah. Claim. I wish I, I had a soundboard for some shit like that. Wow. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I get the Turcado over this. Uh, it wouldn't weigh me down. Here's the thing: I love being weighed down by food, but it's got to be fucking good. And this, like that burger, looks like fucking bark. Uh, not into yeah. it. No, oh, not here for it. I don't. I don't need that. I'm. I appreciate the weird patty of bacon you have there, but I do not. I appreciate. Mm. Dad's. Ho dad's. I appreciate dad's. Hey, look, they toasted the, the bun. Dad. Though the bun is yeah. toasted. They did Nicely toast that. Toasted. The here's the thing. That bacon crisp patty does look appetizing. It just looks weird. It definitely looks like a big scab, but I kind of want to buy it. Oh, big scab. man, I was doing fine. I already thought it looked gross. Oh, shut the fuck up. I already thought it looked gross. No, now I, I really just, I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't, you know, like, and then. I Moving on. I didn't yeah. go there yet. Like, I was already Please turned off. On. I was already turned off. Now I can't. I we got a that. little, sl- hey, get Lil P in here. We got a little slugger meal. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> Hot dog, uh, that's sweet. You know, for the kids. Yeah. You get the, Again, we, get we should ban we should ban children uh, like we talked about last time. We should ban children <laughs> from the baseball game. I disagree, but I do think we I should know. ban Dippin' Dots. I don't. Okay, well, yeah, we got Dippin' Dots. Yeah. They're in Dippin a tiny Dots helmet. Are lame. <laughs> I agree. I fucking Dippin do not awful. like Dippin' Dots. I will just they take shit up ice cream. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, give me this uh, little Mr. Softy ice cream. I would fuck. Yeah, with Mr. This. Softy, I yeah. could get behind. Let's go. It's it's in a helmet. He got it. And then we got the little okay. Yeah, enough of the, the kids, helmet, shit. man. And then we've got our salad. Of everybody. course, of course, we've got our salad. Of we've course. got what are those Ruta- kale no, and Ruta- strawberry radishes, and radishes, radishes. and then like Ruta- a Ruta. sesame, <laughs> some sesame seeds. Yeah. I would, I would absolutely one hundred percent eat that salad too. Oh, you're fucking a right, but I mean, well, what's not... the what's the dressing? That salad, here? that salad it, looks kind of good. That salad looks looking yeah. good. It looks better than like... the burger. I don't if like it fruit. Came, if it came with the turcado. It does look better than the burger, but I don't like fruit on salads. I, I like, mean, I like look, strawberries on a salad, I like the tart. Nah, nah. You know, I I get that. I I, I disagree, but I get. That's it. cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish I did. I wish they're I doubling did. up too, because there's definitely some craisins yeah. on there. I see them. Yep. I see them. <laughs> I see those little guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we got okay. some free. We got some vegetarian. Uh, Wasn't there like some kind not, of ba- bacon wrapped hot dog or something that they did? That pizza looked good too, by the way. Little art. That pizza, show. that pizza did actually Fuck look with good. Um, yeah, that's good. That looks like some some looks solid like a very shit. savory slice. We got yeah, mushrooms, got some yeah. mushrooms. Olives, got artichokes. I fuck, with, I fuck with all that shit that's on it. Hell yeah. Um. I have the eater as well. We might as well look at because I got these nutty pops, the pop Get spicy and the cookie here. monster. Uh, I want people to call me pop spicy. I'll take that over the fucking <laughs> dipping dots, baby. Let's go pop spicy. 
<laughs> okay. Well, can you change your name? Uh, I'm gonna here. stop there. <laughs> Is there a way I can change your name on this? No. Pop, Pop spicy. spicy. Pop spicy. All right. But we got we you know we got a sushi place. We got uh, the Stella. 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 Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, California's just yeah. really into their fucking Nashville hot chicken for some reason. Uh, um, everywhere is now. Yeah, but yes, California, I yes. feel like it's just really, I don't know, I've, from what I've been hearing. I like we have some Nashville. Annoying. We have like some Nashville hot chicken spots in KC and they're all like California, like the founders of are all from California. I feel like the craze started out there even. Like it started in Nashville <laughs> obviously and then it like started again in California. The craze started in California. Yeah, right. the craze did, I think. Yeah, I don't know. What's this thunder dust in the background on that? I don't know, man. Are those <laughs> thunder... Is that some kind of spice? Could somebody get me the thunder I, dust? I assume thunder that's the dust. That's sick. Um, look so at this a... fucking dude. Thunder dust. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> that that was attempting to be ACDC. It didn't come out right. That was you. <laughs> yeah, I thought like PJ walked in or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. dust! You been? Let's move over to Oriole Park. Thunder dust. <laughs> How Camden, do we feel? I mean, Camden it's... Yards. Uh, yeah, Scroll Camden to the bottom yards. of this. Let Let's get informed oh, of of this. Yeah. Well, we just got a margarita, and that's oh, it. Tight. Yeah. We got okay. a frozen mark. I don't give a shit about that. I'll be drinking beer yeah. at the ballpark. Let's go over to Slamden Yards. Slamden Yard. Uh. Yeah, San Diego, uh, it's pretty pretty basic. I do Mo like Gabba's Mo Gabba. I like I, some crab cake egg rolls. Hell yes. And Mo Gabba mm. shrimp platter. It is it is including the local fare that happens to fit into the category of shitty baseball food, I think pretty well. And, and so see that's like what that. I'm saying. Is that if if you're defined by the Turcado, you're lame. I'm sorry. Sure. <laughs> yeah. They're defined by other things. California is the birthplace of the cheeseburger. Let's not forget that. Yeah, yeah. I guess, no, it's not. I sorry, guess... not the cheeseburger. McDonald's. Yeah, cheeseburger I mean, is like fucking know, East Coast shit. The that Crocs, the Crocs were owning that shit for sure. But you know, I mean, just you know, the the Turcado and the the Fresa salad. Eh, you know, California. I don't know. I don't California's go to. A... Got some good shit though. <laughs> I don't go to a baseball game to make good decisions. <laughs> Right. Period. Yeah, I hear. I, I am not well, going to a baseball this. game to make good decisions on food, drink, anything. I, uh, you know, so I'm going. I to... mean, they, like they also, but they also have burgers and pizza and hot dogs. It's true. I mean, like, I, 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 I just. But I can get that I, anywhere. I'm not impressed. No, but I do like the option that. You, I, <laughs> Other people could but have. The, the premise is you're at a ballpark. I don't know. I just don't see the objection. It seems silly to me. I want creative. I, I, I want creative. I it's fine. Food they that's also bad have ballpark me. food. I want creative food that's bad for me. Yeah. This is I, the premise oh, of the bit. Disconnect again. Uh, well, oh, you got to be fucking. No, oh, you're yeah. doing great. You're not. <laughs> Hang in there, Dan. We can still hear you. <laughs> Um, I don't think the the Turcado is a strike against uh, uh, Padres in any way, shape, or form. I don't it, like it. Maybe, but it's certainly not a. It's not a ball for it. I don't like it. I don't, I, like it. I don't mind it. I'm. They're What's not, with the I'm capital not gonna, city? They're not getting a walk from me. Tell me about the capital city mambo tenders. Yeah. Oh, you want to talk in, about the cap chicken in the tenders tossed corner. in mambo sauce and topped with scallions and garlic aioli. Okay. Mambo sauce. Mambo sauce. Another vague sauce. <laughs> is that? Hey, um, the Justin. Lubega is that? Is that? <laughs> no, I don't think that's Cuban. Yeah, is that some other Cuban sauce I should be aware of? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I got an all-American tender. That's uh, chicken tenders tossed in cheese sauce, topped with applewood bacon and scallions. I don't need this much bacon, guys. Um, and then I've got buffalo. Yeah, tenders. that that's a lot. That's that's just that just looks like a baked potato thrown on top of some chicken tenders, and that's that's a lot. Yeah. I think I think if I was gonna choose my tender basket, there he I'm, is. He's back. Oh man, sorry, fellas. Hey, that's okay. We're just talking good. about 
We're just talking about tendies, baby. We're talking about chicken tendies, man. Uh, I think I'm partial to the buffalo tenders of the tender varietals. What do you guys? What think? What do you think mambo sauce is? Dan? Yeah, what do you think mambo? Just sauce? coming in cold. Do you think it's a little bit of Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit of Veronica. Get mambo number six six six. Keisha. <laughs> 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 I'm sad we never we never wrote that one. There's still uh, time. There's still time. <laughs> what's on What's on the Buffy tendies? Oh, it's uh, Frank's red hot aioli <clears throat> and topped with crumbled blue cheese and scallions. Like that is fully my shit. Uh, the mambo The mambo is the most interesting here. You're that. You're into the I'm, mambo. I'm, I'm yeah, everything else I've seen before. Mambo's too vague for me. Give me the Mambo's... shit. Give me old reliable. I'm a, I'm a Buffalo boy. Except the mystery. <laughs> mm, no. I'm I'm going to be a little plain Jane here. I'm going with uh, something familiar. Hold up. We need to talk about the crab dip pretzel. Yeah, dog. Look at that thing. Look at that hog. Soft baked pretzel with crab dip, Monterey Jack cheese, and Old Bay seasoning. Mm -hmm. That's okay. tight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm bored with that. Yeah, dude. I think uh, Baltimore is winning food. Uh, I really, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. yeah. Also, take, take a look at that. Take a look at that burger. That's a proper burger. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. me let me let me see if I can. Uh... No frills. No particle bacon. Yeah, yeah. That's just got just it's just a smashy guy. Two short rib and chuck blend patties topped with shaved onions, American cheese, and special sauce, which Man. is ketchup. Three ingredient mayo. burgers. Yeah. I mean, but three yeah. ingredient burgers is really the way to go. I feel like yeah. that's good. Yeah. It's reliable. I'm should with you. It should be a cookbook. Three ingredient burgers. <laughs> also, pepperoni pizza pretzel. Nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, that that looks sure. good too. That looks good. Big old I think thick. It looks it cut. looks odd, but I'd for sure eat it. I would I, eat that, the fuck out of it. Those two, those those two special pretzels. I mean, that's that's ballpark food perfected. I yeah. would I would go to a game with I would have I would love to have the four of us go to a game at Camden Park and uh, we get one of each and we all just have a gay old time splitting our uh, our pretzels. <laughs> I think that we would just, be a really just nice feed, time. You just feed the guy to your left. We just sit. In yeah. The yeah. <laughs> have a little have a little powwow in the picnic area there. No Tell lounging me. though. I'm down. I'm down for it. You know, it'd be really cool if we could grab it and then we could, you know, freeze it and then thaw it out at the Diamondbacks Stadium, whatever that was called, <laughs> and uh, hang out by the pool, man. Chase Field. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That'd be Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Eat my crab dip. We don't I don't think the that, I don't think the crab dip I don't think crab dip's gonna travel well. <laughs> <laughs> You might be on to something. We don't live I, in a perfect world. I've let's seen be honest. crab I've seen crab migrations. Have you? You've seen them? No, but I've seen like David Attenborough talk about them. Okay, got you. <laughs> Just making sure. You haven't been like watching crabs. No, no. For like an entire like life cycle. <laughs> <laughs> See how far they go. Yeah, this is. I'm glad I don't have. I'm glad I have this much free time. Let's move on to one star reviews. I think. <laughs> I think it's unanimous. Yeah. Orioles are taking. No food. question. But not yeah. only that, I feel like Baltimore has one of the better menus of all the I, ballparks that we've that we've. I mean, it's like, good. I was just going to say last... that's one of the better lineups. Yeah, yeah, last week we had we had some good, you know, there there was some good fare between those two parks, but like in terms of food, Baltimore has my attention. For sure. And my interest. <laughs> okay. Yeah, gonna come back gonna come back and do one star reviews. So Are we smoke, leaving? Smoke them if you got them. Hell yeah. And we're back. We're gonna do some one star reviews. Wow. <gasps> Camden Yard. I got a lot of problems with you people. <laughs> <laughs> Slam Diego Petco Park. Um, interesting bit of history that was like a bloop single that I started working on that I need to finish. Um, the first baseball game played in the state of California was, uh, uh, or at least on record in the books, uh, the Mormon Battalion. Uh, that went out there as kind of a peacekeeping mission, right. uh, you know, or they were making peace with the United States by volunteering to march all the way to what would become San Diego and like occupy the territory. 
uh, and uh, the first mention of baseball in California or, you know, the West coast of the United States is from some Mormon dude's journal. That's all. all right. I was not aware of that. <laughs> yeah, I was not aware of that. <laughs> and it means the good land. Okay. <laughs> What was I doing? <laughs> it actually means Saint Diego. The whale's penis. The whale's <laughs> vagina. The wh- oh, yeah. You know, I'm not sad I missed that. I'm not sad I, I flubbed that one. That was yeah. not my favorite movie. Yeah. That was the only reason I know that line so well is because, like, the f- decade after it came out, like, that, you know, instead, you know, the. It's just like the itches we scratch with memes and shit now has all it was all yeah. just just us being like repeating movies. Quoting movies. I yeah. love lamp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like it just like, like bags of sand. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm Rick James, bitch. Yeah. That's that's the king of Yeah, that's uh, absolutely yeah. uh memeable shit. That was yeah. That's a uh, I always preferred That's fuck a, your couch. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean fuck that whole couch. that whole. There's a reason that people still quote it 20 years later is because that bit was amazing. <laughs> it's funny. That was one of the most incredible television bits of all time. It was it was sublime and perfect. Yeah. Okay, now speaking of that's a great about, TV made by assholes. It's yeah. Absolutely, there. absolutely. And now you're just gonna have a bunch of shit made by some assholes right now before your very eyes. <laughs> Jeff T we're at Camden Yards and Jeff T who's done 28 reviews 8 months ago said still waiting for the game nothing but political propaganda for the last hour I can see them and the PGA both disappearing do people not realize any PAC is political I was happy that they have real cashiers for parking instead of using self pay parking that's the two stars then the cashier hands me two open beers. I never saw her open them, and I have no idea if she did or someone, if she did or someone else put something in them. That's right, minus pause one it. star. We're we pa- got to pause. pause. We got to pause. pause. I'll pause. Well, uh, the beer thing, weird. We'll get to it. What is he talking about? What's with the political? What? Yeah. What the fuck what is I'm he wondering. talking about? What I is don't he know. complaining about? I don't with the know. PAC? What Maybe. PAC? Maybe, maybe before the, I don't know, maybe like, because sometimes you're at Kaufman and before the game, they have kind of like a bunch of special interest, human interest stuff. And then maybe, you know, just like, Hey, well, you know, this single black mother that was a cashier at Dollar General started this foundation to teach kids how to garden and make the city a better place. Okay. Yeah, now, you know, yeah, like mean, there's there's a lot, of... in a lot of blanks, and it's uncharitable to this guy, which I am in favor of. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. If I, guess I, if if no I had answers, to, you know, yeah, if I had to guess, that would be that would be that would be it because they always play that kind of more left leaning, community focused kind of stuff before the game, before anybody's there. Yeah, right before, <laughs> right before they sing the national anthem and do yeah. military recognition and yeah. And, yeah. and do all the flag humping for a solid forty minutes, and then do it again <laughs> in an hour and a half. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, see that, that that's that's what I was thinking of at first, and then uh, as it went on, I, I got yeah. But there's no way that someone is complaining about. Yeah, there's no way that someone complaining about opening beers is like. Don't yeah. you know that this is this patriotism is just merely jingoism? There's no <laughs> way that that's this person. Yeah, no, that's and it's law. You have to open the beverages because they can't be carried off the premises. Yeah, it's food yeah. service 101. Well, also, where the fuck have you been? You know, exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And why why are you jumping to the conclusion that like someone's drugging you, a stranger's drugging you <laughs> yeah. at a baseball park? Yeah, an You're hourly free employee. drugs at the ballpark. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the dream. <laughs> this is some tinfoil hat shit. I'm, why would his head even go there? Like, what kind of vendetta does an hourly employee that's like part of like part of some like food service conglomerate? Why why does she wanna why would anybody want to? Come on. 
Some people probably because he was burn. extremely rude uh, <laughs> yeah. and and an asshole. You know, <laughs> that's the thing is because like, but that's why they spit in it. I mean, they yeah, didn't drug yeah. it, yeah. but that's definitely yeah. why they. Spit it's just in the, drink, the first thing. For sure. Yeah. The first thing that people people always say, like, oh, I'm pretty sure their employee will like wanted to spit in my food. And that's that's a big red flag. If you think your food has been tampered with, that's because you know that you were behaving badly. Yeah. On the contrary, I see that as a sign of growth for them. Good job. Keep doing some more interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um can you someday you might get to why that would be yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um I got questions. For, There's questions. For, for a certain amount of job security that I don't think I need to look into, can you bleep uh, the next thing I'm about to say? Um, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I put this you, <laughs> and my girlfriend was actually the uh, She came back and like she was like, yeah, this guy was He like asked me if she was like, "Can you do standard regular?" Yeah, and she was like, "Great," because I need that. This is that would be way better than this thing. And I was like, she told me that, and I was like, <laughs> to her behind the curtain, dead her, and I <laughs> like, all over it. <laughs> and it was like, "There you go." <laughs> it. <laughs> you know, okay, just standard. Wait, what, what stadium are we at again? I forgot. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Camden and, Yards. And Jeff T continues. Oh, God. They no longer accept cash. Do they know the dollar is about to be worthless? Or is it oh, discrimination against the poor and homeless? Hardly anyone here, so they have to be hurting for money. Even the walls are bare. I count 18, maybe 23 actual sponsors in a city this size. Politics ruin all sports. This guy is all over the place. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I can't figure this guy out. I'm having trouble with it. <laughs> it like... uh, I I've got some ideas, but I think he has a special mind. <laughs> I, I was you I mean, was like I have a special mind? No. <laughs> Yours is a different kind of special. <laughs> it's also a different kind of special from uh, our boy with the Jabba the Hutt book. Yeah. I was I was uh, I was sure. about to make my my Tales from Jabba's Palace reference. <laughs> we, no, it's, it's, we, it's gotta happen. From that. I mean, it's like yes. different from that. If he... I had to diagnose this guy, it's definitely not uh, uh, being on the spectrum. It's that he's like libertarian. Yeah, right. absolutely. <laughs> that's that's this guy's mental disorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I mean, the the sitting around and and counting the various sponsors in the ballpark. Why would you want to do that to yourself? <sighs> yeah, because you're a psycho. Because you're an absolute <laughs> psycho. <laughs> Did he say anything about the team? No, of course not. Oh, of course he didn't say anything about the team. Yeah. <laughs> Too busy counting sponsors. Who knows what happened with Gee whiz. Hey, he liked parking. He th he said the parking experience was a whole <laughs> <laughs> star experience. Hey, well, this is a good follow-up from Janet C. Gronky. Nice. She, go she goes by Gigi. What's up, um, Gigi? You used to be able to smoke outside. Now it's a smoke-free facility. And many of my friends will never come back. This is discrimination. Yeah, it is. She's no, right. no. I, I oh, heard dude. her voice in my head so clearly. Just now. <laughs> Dan, just like oh, preach, man. preach. <laughs> hey, this one, this one kind of like threw me for a loop. Kelsey Webster, one word, so itchy. That's two. <laughs> mm. That is two words, and also. What? He said one word so itchy. Yeah, yeah, she did. She did. Came oh, for she. Sorry. Came for a good time with my husband. Left Ooh. with more. These are a lot more words. What are we yeah. doing, Kelsey? <laughs> you know how to count, Kelsey. Came for a good time with my husband. Left with more bites than my dad at the fishing dock. These chiggers have taken over my body for good. I, I was covered. 
man. Wow. Oh, no. Holy shit. Stop. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on. <laughs> That's really all there was. To Can that. we get to a different review? <laughs> <laughs> This one's getting cut anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. No way. No oh, way. Baby. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. Fuck. Oh, God boy. damn. Okay. Chad Schultz. Oh. Chad. Chad. The absolute most rude staff. The guy at the front gate talked to my wife and son like they were trash. Nice. It was <laughs> right. It was a hack giveaway night, and we walked over and passed the giveaway station three feet at the ins- at, at wait station three feet at the instruction of the staff. Some people just they do not proofread these. We then wait. You mean the people the people who do the one star reviews don't pre- pre- proofread <laughs> their shit? Yeah, dude. I mean, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna leave a one star review, like it. If I'm if I'm gonna put my ass out there like that, yeah. needs needs to be clean. You're gonna show your whole ass. <laughs> yeah. If I'm gonna show my whole ass, it needs to be washed. It needs to be clean. Uh, I believe <laughs> the expression is. I believe the expression is. Uh, if it's your ass in the jackpot. <laughs> yeah. What? That, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's. Okay. One, I can't. I can't remember which sure. one. It's what. It's what one of the umpires said. It's our ass in the jackpot. He used to, He screamed that. Dan just transported us back to 1930. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like so a couple of years ago. So Chad Schultz was told to like walk past the giveaway station, like just say, hey, yeah, just wait right over there, I guess. And then they refused to give yeah. it to him. Yeah. We then turned around to get our hat, and the guy says, You already walked past. Too late. Gotta get it while you're coming in. We said we weren't paying attention to that. We were trying to get out of the way. He says, you should have been paying attention. I went back to complain after my wife was upset for 10 minutes and took a photo of the rude guy's badge who proudly showed it to me and said, I absolutely should file a complaint. (laughs) I found another guy claiming to be a supervisor who blew me off as well until I asked for his supervisor, who magically happened to be eight feet away. She seemed sympathetic and finally gave us... Uh, and finally gave us the hat and, and have never been treated anywhere near this badly. We live in Cincinnati and attend several games a year. Never anything like this over a hat that they uh, that they would hide in boxes, boxes of blah, 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 oh, blah, blah, no. blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> we reviewed your part. It sucks. When you said yeah. the when you said the manager was eight feet away or whatever, or I can't remember what the detail was, but I thought you were gonna say eight feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to be like, oh! <laughs> Is there a problem here? <laughs> Go back to Cincinnati. <laughs> Just picks up the kid and throws him out of the stadium. Me <laughs> with what you have. <laughs> Sean Wilkinson. Sean Wilkinson. This once great landmark has soiled itself in the final battle for civil society. Soiled? Oh, no. <laughs> like pissed itself? That sounds, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Let's see where I, this goes. <laughs> yeah. In the final battle for civil society, straws or no straws. The vendors, no vendors have straws, just sippy cups that spill when they're in the seat cup holders. Every child covered in soda and sugar water. Ghettos from miles around are strewn and trashed, but we can't have a straw to drink an $8 lemonade. Three days ago, I had my last beverage at Starbucks. It looks like I may be having my last beverage here. Oh, you! I need um, some details over about it. why you had your last beverage at Starbucks. Because they nice. don't have straws. <clears throat> because they miss. Oh, they don't his either. Name Ignatius J. Riley on his cup. <laughs> <laughs> I get that reference. I get that reference. <laughs> I don't get that reference. <laughs> Is that Bill some of- Hobbit shit? <laughs> no, I know, I know it's not. Um, but yeah, Starbucks just doesn't do straws anymore. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, color me uninformed. Uh, doesn't doesn't matter. Don't don't care. 
Perry yeah. Coil. Straws are for babies. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Just fucking put it to your lips and drink it. You got a whole mouth that you can just pour it into. It's fine. Anyways. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So I got a couple more. Scott Zar- Scott Zargas. My friend was too drunk to get in. One star. Nice. Good review. <laughs> okay. We salute you, Scott. Yes. Way to go, Scott. And way well, to go, I mean, Scott's really more friend. Scott's friend. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Joey Williams, much like me, one star, too damn high. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that. What's his name? Uh, that was Joey Williams. Joey, okay. we salute we're gonna, you. We're going to buzz through San Diego here real quick. And uh, you guys might notice there's a theme. Uh, but I'm going to start with a B with... theme because you just emphasize buzzed really hard. We'll get there. Jack Stanton. Okay. This is this is one I, I I would like to have known the conversation. But, you know, like, of course, the bag thing. Uh, security determined my wife's purse was one inch too long. Yes, one inch. Option was either walk seven blocks back to the car and leave it or empty the contents into our pockets and toss the purse in the trash. Which way do you think they went? Did they, they walk back? Did they leave? Okay, there, there's one for walk back and leave. I mean, I think they left. No, there went a hundred and eighty dollar purse, and there went my last visit to Petco Park ever. Wait, <laughs> what? He went. <laughs> I... He threw away his wife's purse to go to the baseball game. Incredible. This guy's, this guy's unhinged. This guy's what a, pow- <laughs> what a powerful mind. Yeah, you absolute... know, you know, you know the exact phrase was, ah, "I'll buy you a new one." Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, he... I, I would have, I really would have liked to have been there to see oh, that wow. conversation yeah. play out. Jesus, powerful energy. Okay, um, so yeah. wait. <laughs> also, then she had to like cram all of her shit into her pockets because you know he wasn't carrying any of it. Right. <laughs> all right. So a few years ago, there, there was a. Uh, kind of an animal rights snafu at Petco Park. And Amy said, this park is bearing the name Petco. This company actually has a code of ethics when it includes the following, which includes the following animal care as Petco partners. It is our responsibility to promote the health, well-being, humane treatment of animals. We must do the right thing as a company as, and as individuals to ensure animal well-being. We must consistently deliver safe, skillful, and compassionate care to all animals entrusted to us. I guess not so much. I would suggest a boycott of this stadium as well as their namesake. So some bees decided to like make their home at the top of the foul pole and the pitcher was getting attacked. The players were getting attacked by bees. So they paused the game and then they killed the bees. Oh man. And then San Diego lost their fucking minds. Rebecca Ratcliffe said, killing a swarm of bees, killing a swarm of bees on live television. We need bees to pollinate our food. This could have been a real teaching moment having a yes. bee to safely remove them. Is baseball so important that you can't do the right thing? Um, yes. 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 <laughs> I cheers you, all of you uh, uh, P- PETA moms with my white wine spritzer. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are correct. You are righteous. They should not have killed the bees. Wendy, Wendy, Petco Park chose to exterminate a honeybee swarm that was not in da- was not a danger to anyone. Instead of collecting them humanely and relocating them, there were even beekeepers at the event who offered to take care of the bees, but they were turned away. Well, all that's horseshit. Shit. That's absolute that's, bullshit. Yeah, all of this that's on national best. television. Poor choice, poor example. I own multiple pets, and I will never set foot in another Petco again. I will tell you right now, anyone who's at that ball game that says I'm a beekeeper, they are blowing smoke and not the <laughs> right kind (laughs) amanda scott clans have just i have just watched a swarm of bees being killed on live tv at petco park this was absolutely unnecessary and sent out the wrong message to thousands of people who can now think that this is what you do to a swarm you do not kill swarms you help them i'm a beekeeper this swarm could have been easily collected by a beekeeper swarms only act like that when they're under distress (laughs) Bees need to be protected, not needlessly killed. They are in decline, and this kind of ignorance is a massive setback. Please try to balance this awful act by doing something positive for the protection of bees. It was heartbreaking to see. 
Cinnamon I mean, roll. It's not, it's not heartbreaking, but they are correct. They shouldn't have done yeah, that. I mean. <laughs> cinnamon roll. Only has done two reviews. This lady cinnamon with an S. Yeah. Um, only <laughs> wow. two reviews. Gee, so Wow. I already sent. I already <laughs> sent. vibe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a Tuesday night at Bazooka's vibe. Uh, yeah. Um, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cinnamon Roll said, I already sent my email after hearing that they killed a swarm of bees. Then they could have just called a beekeeper to contain them live. Disgraceful. Bees were just getting their population numbers up and these guys had to ruin it. Next time, call a beekeeper if you don't know what to do. Don't kill an endangered species. Good Lord. They're right to say so. Yeah, I mean, I get behind this. This is fascinating that like all these reviews kind of it, It's it, like they got review bombed. These people weren't even yeah. at the game. This, yeah. That, yeah. that lady yeah, that lady exactly. was like, "I just got done writing an email." It's like, "Yeah, because you saw this on TV and so now you're yeah. review bombing." Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're all correct, but these I mean like I, I don't know. Yeah. I, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> it's good content. Somebody said unbelievable. No, that was a oh, good God. one. That's good. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, anyways, killing Pretty all those bees. Killing all those bees with bees was awful. Uh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's you know, go. I do. Just real quick, I do wonder. There's almost certainly some component to pest control and pest management as part of the groundskeeping crew, like right. in some form. In some form, I'm sure that exists. I would be interested in learning more. I I'm willing to bet they did what they were trained to do. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm just doing to my duty. There are not uh, bee keepers on standby. Look, if, if someone, to... if someone's, if someone's out there shouting, uh, "Did someone? Is it your job to go and kill the bees?" That person should say, "No, but I'm doing it anyway." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, I can't get behind San Diego. Every, it just everybody sounds too uptight. The Turcado, I'm not into it. I'm going Baltimore. I'm going Baltimore. I feel like that's a better. I feel like that's a better experience. Joe, Baltimore. I like that food. the uh, The reviews didn't really glean a, a ton of light, but uh, I did hear something really racist happen in San Diego. That was San Diego, right? That review was. Yeah, I think so. That one was. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A very powerful like, woman. Yeah, it was a very powerful woman. Uh, so. Uh yeah, uh let's do uh let's do fucking Baltimore. Let's All go. right. Yeah. Dan, where are you at? I mean, I I don't know. I guess I'm still operating under the premise that like you're going to be a fan for like 162 <laughs> games. And if you want to watch if you want to watch like 100 112 losses uh, but that, but but maybe like go to the park once or twice. That, that's true. Nice I food. wouldn't go to the knock park. I don't out, think. Man. I don't like, think I would go to out. the park to get the food. Knock yourself out. <laughs> if you if you're looking to like follow like a baseball team, like I think that the there's one choice that's probably the way to go. I'm not. I'm not uh, gonna. I'm not gonna disagree with you there. Yeah, sounds yeah. like it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you want to watch better baseball, watch the Padres for sure. <laughs> I'm just you, you just know. watch just watch it on TV, and then when they kill animals on television, then you can go review bomb their stadium that you didn't you know, go to. It does sound it does sound like a better time. I'm switching my vote back. I'm going Padres. I've got the hat. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um. Hey, okay. no tracksuit this time. It's just that I have a way <laughs> with words, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so what are we split decision here? What are we doing? What um, are we doing? I'm I, I guess I'm I'm breaking the tie then. I, it, well, there's no tie well, unless no tie. you choose <laughs> uh, unless you choose a certain team. Has anybody got a coin to flip? No, I'm I'm uh, fuck it. I'm going Padres <laughs> too. Yeah, let's. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, let's, let's, let's watch let's just, a team that can actually play. I want to make. I want to watch better baseball in a in a pleasant. You know what? Climate. You're right. We're building a better bandwagon. Let's get some better baseball. Baltimore, do better. But your but your menu your kicks ass. Fucking kicks um, ass. It's can I just say it's amazing that we've managed to like stretch like this show into like a two hour show where it was like which team's better. <laughs> <laughs> ultimately was the decider on this one uh, oh, so. whoops 
<laughs> yeah, I know you. I know you love that, Dan. But oh, you know, we man. gotta have a show somehow. Man. Or actually, okay. no. We we gotta go. We gotta go. Check out our other stuff, Royal Tragedy, uh, our bloop singles, and uh, you know, hit the backlog on this. It's a lot of fun. We'll be updating Bye. it. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>